there are lots of times I would just ask, so where are we flying to today? And that breaks into a conversation and then they would turn around, this is how I walk around the terminal, they would see me in a collar and it's like, wow, are you a minister here? I say, yes I am, but more than that, I can even help you to your gate. And with the, with the amount of construction that's happening in here and lots of block, blocked off ways or elevators not um, going in the right direction, um, it's, it's helpful to those traveling um, passengers to, to have a voice, uh, a sane voice in the, in the chaos around them. Um, it brings a smile to my face as well because it, it makes my job that much easier to see people who are at peace who are comforted and who can certainly have a pleasant rest of their journey as they continue on out from here. Um, and so that, that's how it goes sometimes. One time I was over at uh, Terminal 5 over in JetBlue and I was just meeting with some of their um, management staff as I got, got, got around to introduce myself. And there was this one fellow who was checking in and um, he saw me talking to the manager there and he said, um, excuse me, sir, are, are, you, are you a chaplain? Are you a priest? And I said, yes. He saw, then he said, well, I need you to pray for my father. He's very sick. He's in California, and I'm going to head there now to, to be with him. And I said, yes, I can certainly do that. Tell me his name. His name was Robert. And I said, I will certainly keep, keep your father and you in, in my prayers, and may you go with God. That alone, to me, was such a blessing to be recognized as for who I was and what I was doing in the airport, but also giving an opportunity to pray for someone as he was heading to, to his sick father. Some people I would see pulling out their boarding passes to see, okay, directions to a gate. So I say, where are we flying today? And they're like, they got this. That's fine. You know, they, so, so just, just move on to the next person. And it's, yeah. it's like, you know, you're doing door-to-door um, -door evangelism and you get a door closed in your face. What are you doing? You know, just pack up and go home. You, know, just, um, you keep moving on. Somebody else is in need that day. Maybe that person can certainly read signs and go on, but there's certain, sometimes the signs are not always clear for, remember this is a English signs and this is a global environment and people are here from all across the globe.